Man, today started off so good, guys. Had so many cash calls. One from my buddy, a couple from Allstate, a Giro. Man, we've had a couple calls. And then I took that one first call from Allstate, that Silverado. Running the keys in once I dropped it off to the Hertz dealership. And what do you know? I'm inside dropping the keys off, come back outside, my truck's gone. Where was my truck, you ask? My truck was backed up into a brand new Delaware State Police Chevy Tahoe that was about to go out through Hertz's fleet and become a cop car, a state trooper car. Somehow my truck backed all the way up and reversed and hit it. So I'm hoping it don't raise my insurance, but just knowing my luck, it probably fucking will. We're four minutes on this call for all states, a Chevy Traverse. 2019 Chevy Traverse broke down out here outside of um, Chester. I think it's right in the development right on this side over here. We're running about an hour late because Hertridge had to fill out all this paperwork. He had to call the police. He ended up calling Denton, Texas instead of Denton, Maryland Police Department. It was just a trip. I mean, this dude, yeah. And the way they were just on it, like, boom, we gotta get this, we gotta get blah, blah, blah. Like, damn, it was only minor damage, and I didn't even have my film. Like, today wasn't even filming day, but now I ran home before this tow and grabbed all my filming equipment just because I need to keep it on me now. Now I know I need to keep my shit on me all times because something hot might happen. All right, so that tow didn't go as planned. Get all the way up there, literally pulling up to the place, literally as I'm pulling into the driveway. The girl texts me and says, there's another company about to come. You didn't answer the phone. We called you eight times. Uh, Chevy called you eight times. Left voicemails, this and that. There was no call. I said, I didn't get a call for one. And I texted you when I was on the way before I made the 45 minute drive. Do you literally think I would drive 45 minutes if I knew you canceled the job? You know what I mean? I submitted everything to through Toebook, because Toebook, the job wasn't even canceled on there. Usually they'll cancel the job through there if the customer cancels. None of that went through the process as if I was going there. I get there, on scene, nothing. It didn't generate the credit card for me at the end, so I got on the phone with Allstate. I sat on there for a half an hour, the whole ride back home to the lot. Literally, we're about to come in Greensboro now. I sat on the phone and going back and forth to get a GOA for the job because I just drove all the way out there for nothing. The lady was able to end up getting me a GOA and it was actually more than like, cause they'll tell you in the billing notes on the out of network all state calls, they'll tell you what the price is for completing the call and they'll tell you what the GOA fee. Usually GOA fee is like a quarter of what the call is. It was like 60 bucks for the GOA fee and it was a $198 call. So they ended up giving me 114.25 for a GOA, which I'm really happy with. I'm glad I stuck on that phone call for half an hour, so it ended up working out good, even though we didn't get to do the tow, which I love towing, so that's really bummed out, but I'm just about to go home, sit my ass down for the day because I'm bummed about this truck right now. I'm just, I'm stumped right now, so I'm hoping my insurance doesn't go sky high. This is the damage that was done right here. Busting my corner up a little bit. Dented this in definitely. This whole thing is just dented in. All right here, all right there. But this is the worst part. This is freaking straight steel and it buckled that whole thing. Look at all that bondo that fucking broke off. But I'm gonna make that look good. I'm gonna try to beat it back in just a little bit and then I'm gonna bondo it down. I'm gonna make that bitch look clean. It's time to redo this shit anyway. I'm gonna bust that fender thing all the way off and get that shit done. But you can see all that old bondo that I did right there. It fucking sucks, man. Fuck. But it is what it is. Could have been worse. Glad there was no people involved. Glad that nobody got hurt, so. That's the most important thing of all. Nobody got hurt and we got insurance, so. All right, boys, we're getting ready to head out to Denton. I had a buddy of mine, Tommy Mathis. He uh, called me, said his Dakota was having rear issues. Parked out there on First Street in Denton. He said, but before anything gets worse than what it is, I think the Barons or Seals or something went out in the rear. And before anything gets worse, he said, he wanted to uh, just go ahead and get it looked at. We're gonna go ahead and tow him up there. I just charged him a hook fee. He gave me a little more than the hook fee, but I told him it was all good. But we're actually taking it up to JP Auto. The same place that always worked on all my vehicles. Oh, good shit. Clock. 
Feels so good out here. It's like 48 degrees, 50 degrees. Oh man, it feels good. I love fall time. I love it. Feels so good, man. About 5.30 in the morning, we got um, two repos came through from South Carolina. One was from um, a subscriber off of TikTok, YouTube, stuff like that. And another one was from an actual auto sales place down in um, Greenville, South Carolina. Both of them are for repossessions that came up to Maryland. The auto place, they found me off of Google or whatever. So I said, Google's very important, guys. I mean, out of state, anything. And it, it's been coming lately because I had the Kubota repos and then these two people. Google definitely pays off if, if you manage it right and, and do everything you have to do on there right every day. Google's a good plug, I'm gonna tell you, especially for telling company. Another thing is these Repos are about an hour and 20 minutes away. One's in Millersville. It's a GMC. Both of them want me to hold it here. The auto dealer place, they want me to hold it for about five or six days. And the Bulldog Recovery, who's doing the first one, which is a GMC, they want me to hold it here. But they said I might end up with that car because they don't know if it's actually worth them putting it through auction. But they just don't want that man to have it. So we're going to go get that. We're going to go get this other one that's broken down, too. It's a Jeep Cherokee. That's in Camp Spring, Maryland. The other one's in Millersville, Maryland, GMC. So we're gonna have a nice little morning. Both of them should be there. The GMC's uh, GPS, so they should be there. And the um, other one just don't even work. So let's get up there and uh, let's be safe on the road. Everybody else out there be safe. Thank y'all for liking, commenting, and subscribing, sharing these videos, man. I appreciate it to every single one of y'all that's out here actually doing something now. Turn their backs in the past, now they wanna come back. Too bad, I'm not mad, they should forgive me. Realize how they fucked up, now they see me get so I can't eat while you're standing in my kitchen. Y'all remember when you talk down, hands out, thinking that you're getting some odds now. If you want that,
This is what we do. State, state, baby. Sunshine. Did you get it? I got your arm, boy. Hey, Joe. <laughs> Hi, this is Joe with Miniman Recovery Repossession Company. I was just alerting you guys on a repossession. Oh, I'm trying to find the address again. I'm sorry. Yes, correct. What's your contact number? 4104. And it was a 2004 GMC Envoy. And, uh, what year was that? 2004. What's the tag number? The tag number is 721. 721? Yep. Yeah. V as in Virginia. I'm sorry. I didn't know if you said that. Do you have the VIN number? What time did you pick it up? Uh, about three minutes ago. Do you have the finance company's information? Yes, it is. Do you have a contact number for him? Is the owner over here? Uh, he did not come outside. What's your tow company? Minute Man Recovery. Right now, we're calling in to the uh, Millersville Police Department to let them be aware that we have their vehicle under repossession just in case they don't wake up and say, someone stole it. Hello, sir. Yes. Everything checked out okay. All right, thank you. All right, thank you so much. You're welcome. Take care. Bye. Everything's good checked out they had to run his tag and do all that they do it a little bit different over here in Anne Arundel County than um, we do over there on the Eastern Shore but that's why I stopped over here immediately I usually wait like an hour but I just stopped immediately over here just in case and uh, went ahead and got everything um, taken care of I'll get out real quick show you what we got we're on a little bit of a busy road but we'll uh actually pull up here to this development just a little bit because I want to check this steering wheel anyway Let's get a little bit more off the road into the clear a little bit there we go that looks a lot better yeah man shout out to Bulldog Recovery man he's out there I think Winsome Salem uh, North Carolina Goldsboro North Carolina somewhere around them areas my buddy's been a subscriber of the channel I love doing out of calls like this man I love helping people and he's excited as shit because this comes back on him and makes him look really good with an out-of-state repo showing that he has resources outside of his area to cover, you know what I mean? Which is really good. That's why I say if you're in the repossession industry, you're supposed to come together with everybody and be family because you guys can help each other in different situations. Like, we're five, about five, six hours away from each other, and look, we just sealed the repossession for them. And now he's happy because he don't have to come all the way up here and get this because it's not going to be worth it, and they probably weren't going to pay him. They probably won't even take this vehicle back and even sell it because it's not worth what he owes and they're not gonna get it out of it. It's a 2004 Envoy. It's in really, really good condition, but you're not gonna get back out of it what he's paying on that loan. And I think he owes like seven, 8,000 on it and I don't see them getting that for this. It is in real good condition, like I said, but it, it's not worth what they owe, I guarantee it. Guarantee that real quick. Like I said, it's definitely worth it, but we have a, uh, another repo that's in Camp Spring, Maryland, which is probably about 30 minutes from here, 25 minutes from here. I was going to drop this somewhere and go get that one because that's for another uh, uh, auto sales company that's in South Carolina. They found me on Google and uh, gave me a call yesterday for a repossession that they have over there. It's 
almost on the Washington DC line. It's outside of PG County, or I think it's actually in PG County, on the line of PG and Anne Arundel, I think. I don't know if I have time right now to go get it because I do have to be back in Cordova by nine which is not gonna happen either. And we have a call for Urgently that is going to Easton. They had it scheduled for early this morning. Let's get on the road, y'all. Let's get going. I wanted to check everything, check the steering wheel and everything in here because this shit is a uh, little sus, but I'm gonna tighten up this steering wheel. I'm gonna uh, go ahead and do the couple things, couple checks that I wanna do, get my toe light and everything on, and then we're gonna go ahead and get on the road, y'all. Just getting back from over there in Millersville with this 2004 Envoy repossession. Pretty clean car, inside and out. Looks really good, um, engine wise, runs a little shitty. Oil problems and something lies in there somewhere. But other than that, it's a pretty clean little vehicle, but I don't think it's worth their time or money to come get it because all the dude owes, I think, is less than a thousand dollars or something. So between paying me for the repossession, paying someone to come get it from North Carolina and uh, doing all of that good stuff. I do not think it's worth it for them. But like I said, not worth it for them to come get it probably. So we might be ending up with the vehicle, who knows? Might sell it, might do something with it, might just actually keep it, wrap it with the logo and uh, go about it there. <laughs> 